Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how to conditionally enable and disable the dimensions. So as you can see, I have a very simple data set to show it over here. Uh, and in the list box, I have countries, uh, India, UK and US. And here I have a simple text box uh, where I have the information of each and every country. Uh, the city and their respective sales amount. So all of these are dummy figures uh, which I have created for this video. So uh, what I will going to talk about is uh, in pivot table when you are selecting any country like India then how the dimensions are changing dynamically. So to make this matter very simple let's go ahead and create the pivot table to better show you about how to do this. So I will right click here, go to new sheet object, click on chart, yeah, and pivot table, click next. I will select both uh, city and country as my dimensions, click next and put the sum of sales. All right, I will click OK and I will just say sales by country. All right, I'll just click finish. So this is my very simple table. I'll just drag this dimension country as the first dimension. So this is what I get, right? So what I really want is uh, when I'm selecting India. So first thing is this, it should only show one dimension, either country or city. And whenever I'm selecting India, it should show only relevant city names, but not the country name because we have already selected over there. So in this way, we are basically creating a hierarchy where we already know if we are selecting India, its respective cities are coming over here. So how to create this hierarchy kind of any structure uh, when, by using the uh, enable and disable condition property of uh, uh, this pivot table chart. So for this, I will right click on the chart, go to properties, click on the dimension and you see this country. So we will just click on this enable condition property and we will write if is null get selected field get field selections. So we want to get the field selection of country and city and see whether they are null or not. If it is null then we want to achieve a certain behavior. So we are saying if it is country, all right, so I have closed both the brackets for is null and as well as get field selection and I'm saying just true, that means show it. So by default, it should show country and I'll just copy this and in the city, I will enable the condition, put the value again and simply say 0 1 that means when it is when it is not null it should show the city click apply and okay now you see the country has gone because we have already selected india's country but if i am removing this selection then only country figure is coming so this is a, a very uh, easy way to show you how the enable and disable how to enable condition works uh, here in the charts uh, when you use this and as well as you see a small trick where you know you can create a, a hierarchy of dimension or create a better solution uh, with the help of pivot table where you are just selecting uh, the dimension value over here and your respective city or dimension value is changing which is related to the list box. So I hope uh, you will find this video useful and uh, this is what uh, I wanted to show in this video and I will meet you in the next video with a new topic. Till then, bye bye.